really, engineers are artists at, at the root of things. It is more than just looking up the answer in a book or running the numbers through the computer and, and out pops the answer and we're done. It isn't that easy. But once in a while it occurs to me, people come here on their vacation time and pay money to uh, take a tour of the place that I work at, which is kind of, kind of interesting, kind of unique. I don't know if there is anything more imaginative than space. I'm Blair Thompson. I'm an engineer here at the NASA Johnson Space Center, and I'm also an engineer and I teach space science in the Air Force. I passed the retirement threshold several years ago. I am passionate about space exploration. I might not show it as outwardly as, uh, as some people do, but it's always on my mind, thinking about it, uh, wondering if there's new ways to do things. I read all kinds of books and journal articles and constantly thinking about space exploration. I can get really deep into it. It's almost like I've, I've put myself into the book, so to speak. It can take a several seconds to kind of pull myself out of that and bring myself back to what's going on around me because I can really get into it that much. I specifically love the orbital mechanics, the things moving around in space. So I created an algorithm that's being used to ensure that visiting spacecraft don't crash into the space station. That was a really cool project. I got to be creative and use my imagination to solve a problem to help out the astronauts. I like the extreme environment that space is. The fact that there's hardly any air and there's very little gravity and you're, you're moving at 17,000 miles per hour. So I assembled this vacuum chamber so I could replicate the extreme low pressures in the upper atmosphere of Earth and Mars. Those equations really don't mean anything. So I have a, a bachelor's, three master's degrees, and a PhD in engineering. That's how much I found it interesting. You're right. We'd have to have to take the whole roof off, wouldn't we? So my wife, uh, we actually met in graduate school in aerospace. You know, it's kind of funny. We do talk about space once in a while. It's like you can pretend that you're laying in the rocket ready to launch. But a lot of what we talk about is uh, our kids now and what our kids are experiencing. And, and some of that definitely has to do with space exploration. I want to go to space someday in the little rocket. I have applied to be an astronaut several times and I've gotten fairly far in the process, but it's a, it's a pretty big pool of some very highly educated, highly qualified people. Space exploration and space operations has just become a very crucial part of our military operations. Space is the ultimate high ground. That intel type piece of it is just so vital that we just couldn't operate as effectively without it. If it were to go away, um, things would be pretty dire. I'd like students to uh, leave with a lot of questions. I know that's maybe counterintuitive, an instructor is supposed to answer all the questions, right? But I would like students to leave uh, thinking like, man, you know, space is a really uh, incredible place. Its expanse is beyond imagination. I think that would be like the ultimate goal, if I can impart that feeling upon the students. Yeah, so I'm Blair Thompson. I work at the NASA Johnson Space Center, and I'm also in the Air Force Reserve.